Who are the members of the experiential learning team? A team of invested individuals supports successful student outcomes in experiential learning at the post-secondary level. EL activities are intentional and structured, requiring a common understanding and goal within the context of both classroom and community. We can identify our main contributors as the student, the course director or instructor, the institution, and the community or industry partner. This multifaceted team enables student learning and provides accountability for everyone within their individual settings through commitment, collaboration, and cooperative management of their respective roles and responsibilities within the EL framework. A large piece of the project has to do with the client relationships um, surrounding the project and the project management. And so a, a large piece of it is me first setting up that relationship to ensure that the students are getting a client that will respect the fact that they're a student, um, number one, and respect the fact that they're still learning, knowing that they are almost ready to go out the door. So there may be some bumps along the way, but there's nothing that we can't resolve. I would say over the six years I've been doing this, um, I haven't had any displeased clients. Certainly here at Georgian, we couldn't just randomly, I couldn't just randomly toss students into the community at all. Because for example, we have many students from here who are on co-op or on field placement or already working with partners. And the last thing you want to do is, uh, you know, um, overuse a partner who's a solid partner. So you have to have good relationships with the, the folks who are organizing uh, placements, for example, and know where students are. You have to have those, those opportunities to, um, to know what else is going around you in the institution. So definitely your background research and your pre-planning are key. That's the first thing that we do in advance of the course. We spend a considerable amount of time fostering and nurturing those relationships with uh, industry partners. We ask for them to come up with a tangible project that the students can work on um, throughout the semester. Uh, the project management course then, once it starts, the students then meet with their internship uh, industry partner. Uh, they work on a project overview statement. Uh, in collaboration, so there's a bit of a client-customer relationship that's built into that process. So in my third and my fourth year in my undergraduate program, uh, I, I did two and a half credits that were leading up to my undergraduate thesis project. So I wrote my thesis on the work that I was doing with the healthcare system. So my project was on standardizing the preoperative process across Niagara Health. So working with a team of medical students, physicians, nurses, uh, and their project, their business manager of perioperative services to come up with a plan that, that best worked for their, for their system. Um, so through the courses that I learned, or through the courses that I took in my undergrad, I was able to use the, the theory and apply it to, to that real life quality improvement project in healthcare.